Today I'm going to be teaching you some exercises to help get your baby into the best head down position ready for birth. These exercises are especially useful if you've been told that your baby is in a breech position. A breech position means that your baby is either bum first or feet first inside your womb. However, these exercises aren't just for women who have babies that are breech inside the womb. You can do these exercises from any point in the third trimester of pregnancy to encourage your baby to get into the anterior facing position. And that means that they're head down and facing your back. These exercises are going to open up the space in your hips. They're going to help to release tension that you might be carrying in your abdomen and pelvis, which could be restricting your baby's movement. And they're also going to be working with gravity to encourage your baby to get into that anterior facing position, ready for a smooth and straightforward vaginal birth. Please note that if you've been diagnosed with SPD, which is symphysis pubic dysfunction, these exercises might not be suitable for you, so please ensure that you check with your care providers before undertaking these exercises. If we haven't already met, my name's Anya and I'm an antenatal class teacher specialising in hypnobirthing. On my YouTube channel you'll find pregnancy and birth related videos. I upload new videos to my YouTube channel every single Tuesday, so don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. The first exercise is called the pelvic tilt and it's really easy to do. So just get on your hands and knees and make sure that your hands and your arms are directly underneath your shoulders. And what you're going to be doing is as you breathe in, you're going to be arching your back up towards the ceiling and tucking your tummy in towards your spine like this. Then when you exhale, after holding that position for a few seconds, you're going to drop your back down into a flat position again, breathing out. You're not dropping your back down because that can cause damage and be painful. You're just tucking your tummy in towards your spine and arching your back up as you inhale and then bringing your back down to a flat position. The next exercise is a squat. Squatting really opens up your pelvis, it helps to relieve backache and it's also great to encourage your baby to get into the best head down position ready for birth. Your centre of gravity changes in the third trimester of pregnancy because your baby bump is growing increasingly heavy. So if you need support to do a squat then you can either lean your back up against a wall and squat or you can use a birth ball as I'm going to demonstrate now. Just a few things to remember before doing these squat exercises. Make sure that your feet are hip distance apart and that when you're squatting down, your thighs are parallel with the floor. The next exercise is to do hip rotations. So sit on top of your birth ball, make sure that you're sitting up straight and that your shoulders are pushed back and also make sure that your bum is positioned above your knees. If your bum isn't and it's lower down than your knees, you either need to get a bigger birth ball or inflate your birth ball a little bit more. Once you're in the best position, then you're just going to be doing gentle hip circles towards the right and you can do about 10 in one direction so 10 towards the right and then again 10 towards the left
making sure that you keep your back upright, your shoulders are pushed back and just think belly dancing and it can help you to do it more easily. If you don't have a birth ball, I do recommend that you get one, but if you don't, then you can do your hip rotations either standing up or on your knees. So you just do your right hip circles, just do 10 of those and then do left hip rotations. I am stiff, so I find it hard to do the left ones for some reason. There you go. The next exercise is called a rocking lunge. So what you're going to do is put one leg on the floor first and make sure that your other one is upright like this. Then with a birth ball, the side of your sofa or a dining room chair for support, you're just going to lunge forward like this, tilting your pelvis forward. Just go as far as feels comfortable forwards because you don't want to overstretch. But this position is gently increasing the space in your hips, in your abdomen and telling your baby that there's enough space for them to move into that optimal head down position ready for birth. So you just do one leg first, 10 or so of those and then you'll switch to the other side. Making sure that your back is straight you're not overstretching yourself. Just do that rocking lunge, making sure that it's as comfortable as possible for you. Again, you can do about 10 of those in a row. Well done. The final position you're going to do is the rotating lunge. Again, you're going to be putting one foot up and the other one is on the floor. I like to have a pillow under my knee sometimes because my knee can get a little bit sore and tender. So just get a cushion underneath that knee that's on the floor. I'm holding onto my hips, but you can use a chair or a birth ball to steady yourself if you want to. And all you're gonna be doing is lunging forward and doing a circular motion. So I'm going towards the right with my right leg. And you just do about 10 of those. And then you can move into left circles with the right leg. Again, I am a little bit stiff, so I'm not doing the smoothest job of demonstrating this. Maybe you're more flexible than me. And once you've done 10 to the left, making sure that your back is upright, that you're not overstretching. You'll move on to the next leg. Now moving on to the other side, so getting your other knee on the pillow on the floor, your other leg up, and then doing right circles, right lunges in a circular motion. Again, I am stiff. I'm gonna to have to do some more yoga, I think. I seem to be much more flexible in pregnancy for some reason. Weird, isn't it? So do 10 on that side and then do 10 left circles. Keeping your back upright, lunging forward, but also in a left circular pattern. 10 of those. Well done. 
I'm recording this video during December and the light is quickly fading from the sky. So sorry about the poor visibility at the end of this video, but I wanted just to tell you that you should be doing these exercises twice a day if you can. Five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, that really is best. But also, after you do these exercises, please make sure that you're not slouching back on a chair or on a soft sofa, because that is actually going to cancel out all of the good work that you've done doing those exercises. If you slouch back, it actually restricts the space in your hips and your pelvis, and it stops your baby from being able to move into the best head down position, ready for labour and birth. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please let me know in the comments section which exercise you enjoy doing most because I love to connect with all of my viewers. Take care and see you again soon. Bye.